Ahimsa is a story of an independent girl, Anjali, in a colonized country. She unwillingly gets involved in the turmoil and we are able to see pre-independence India through Anjali's eyes. <laughs> Let us review the book Ahimsa. Ahimsa looks at the Indian freedom movement from the eyes of 10-year-old Anjali. It starts with Anjali and her friend Irfan nervously painting a cue for Quit India on the walls of Captain's Bungalow. It undoubtedly promotes women empowerment as the person joining the freedom movement isn't Anjali's father. It is her mother. In the book, caste is mentioned through several characters such as Keshavji who is a leader of a freedom fight and also a Dalit, a sewage cleaner boy named Mohan who used to ask mostly rhetorical questions and several little kids who used to belong to the untouchable Basti. The book focuses on the Varna system and it clearly depicts the orthodox thinking which prevailed in the colonized India. So, India did not only needed freedom from the Britishers but also from the caste system. The book brilliantly juxtaposes pre-independent India and 21st century India. It teaches us to be tolerant and compassionate towards others. It silently also teaches us equality and fraternity. The book instills the feeling of national interrogation and patriotism. During our class interaction with the students, we had flipped classroom method in our classes. So PPTs and video links were already sent to them. Children used to come prepared with their chapters and we used to have question answer round and quiz in our online classes. Yeah. Which policy did Britishers use to rule in India? I'm getting... Ma'am, they use the policy of divide and rule. Yes, they use the policy of divide and rule. Can you elaborate it? How they used it? This policy, for example, they tried to divide the Hindu and Muslim community so that they will never unite and we will not get freedom from the British. And they always uh, uh, did something uh, to just to break out riots in the city uh, between Hindu and Muslim. Do you think it was a successful policy and it is still having its repercussion in our generation? Do you think it is a successful policy? It was a successful policy and the British succeed in this policy because now also there is, uh, there is something between the Hindu and Muslim which is still keeping them yes. apart from each other. Everybody knows. Yes, everybody knows. That is a silent secret which every Indian knows. Ma'am, when all the people... When all the people were beating Captain Brent after the death of Keshav Ji, then Captain Brent realized, and, and then when Anjali saved him from getting beaten by the public, then Captain Brent realized that he was doing wrong. Okay. Our students voluntarily prepared posters and slogans while reading the chapters of the book. Role plays on the various important chapters were conducted by the students. On the basis of their reading, they completed their reading journal and it was really very nicely done by them. This supplementary reader really helped me supplement my children with the knowledge about the history of their own country. I was able to make them socially, mentally and emotionally independent. It also helped in the holistic development of my students.